Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Kinner Short Mass versus Long Mass. This is the Series 1 figures, and of course the whole choking hazard, and so they had to change them to Long Mass with the holes in the top. So we're going to get looking at each one of these and comparing them so you can get an idea of correct. Uh, one of these people like to cut and fake, and I think a lot of them try to get faked, but for the most part, most of them cost about the same, so it's not a big deal. But this is the third video of the figure updates, and I wanted to get into kind of completing some of my mask series and getting on with this. This will be my last mask video, though, for a while until we get the 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 ramen toy version of the Great White. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, let's get to looking at the long mask versus short mask. If I get something wrong, let me know in the comments below. But this is what I know from 15 years of collecting. Coming up. Okay, I'm going to start out with Alex Sector and his Jack Rabbit mask. And there are two different variations of it, of course. And this is the short version on the left side, but you, you do have an opening to see his face, and the long version on this side here. Now, they look very different, and I probably could have dug through and found one that didn't have paint wear on it. But there you are on the back. Now, the top, you're going to see that there are slits and holes that are in it to help if a kid swallowed it or inhaled it or something they could still breathe and that was the whole idea behind it it's kind of a safety change and for collectors these days i think that the short masks are more desirable in most cases but some people had the long mask maybe they came to it a little bit later i had a lot of the short masks because i started collecting literally when they hit the shelf the, the show got me into it so i like the short masks more but with it, it's kind of nice to have both, and it's just interesting to see the changes and different variations of each one. But this one is the first one. This one did come with Boulder Hill and separate pack. Next up, we have Buddy Hawk, and this mask of his is called the Penetrator. <laughs> I see a Penetrator. So there's a closer look at it, the short one. Now, one thing that you start noticing is a little bit different. You see this with some other masks down the road that are just the way they're made. This this back piece. There's no, nothing going down the front, but it's on the back. And that's, I, I'm not exactly sure why they make that decision to do that. Why does this one get just a back piece and not a front piece also? I don't know. Now, I've had both of these masks for a long time. And to truth be told, I didn't even think this was one that had the variation because of the fact that I always look at them from the front and I never really noticed that back piece. But they are designed just a little bit different. You do have the holes on the top right there. And it is kind of cool. This is a uh, good old Buddy Hawk. He is, he does come with the Boulder Hill and he also came in a separate figure pack. Now I'm gonna try to make sure I keep the short mask on the left and the long mask on the right. And again, I just kind of dug out and grabbed them. I should have probably picked ones with a little bit better paint application but i do think that the short masks represent the television show a lot better than the long mask this uh, short mask on the left here in my opinion looks way better light years better than what we got with the long mask and as you can see the long mask is this is one of the ones that has it on the front and the back the length is extended on the front and the back, you got the holes in the top. As to where you have a singular piece that's painted, you have two holes. So that gives it a different look and aesthetic. Truthfully though, if you were at a distance or your whole collection was set up, you probably wouldn't even notice, but this is just something collectors look for and they look at. This one, if it's cut, I mean, it's still gonna be very noticeable because of holes in the top. And uh, I don't see why bother. So far, up to this point, these all dollar wise are about exactly the same. I don't see short masks going for any more or less than long masks, but he did come with his vehicle Condor and I think he might've also come in a figure bag. So now we're gonna get into Honda McLean with his blaster mask and the left side is the short version. The right side is the longer version. So there's a lot about this one. This is the one that because the mask is so ridiculously tiny, it gets lost easily. Also because I do kind of think Firecracker was one that wasn't produced in as high quantities. For whatever reason with the history of it, it, it just seems to be a little harder to get a complete Firecracker than to get some of the other ones. Now if you look at the side, you can see that people generally like to cut long masks. But there's one thing you can tell if it's been cut or not. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, how does the actual mask look? But the dot, the paint dot, 
there's a giant paint dot on this one and a uh, small paint dot on that one. So that is one more dead giveaway. And I'm sure people can figure out how to repaint the blue and then update the red dot. I'm sure I'm sure people are really good at that. There's also reproductions that are spot on that are, I think they're 3D printed though. So you can tell they're 3D printed. But for me personally, if, if I didn't already have one, then I would probably just spend five bucks to get a reproduction. It, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And I'm actually thinking about buying up a handful of reproductions just for fun, just to have them in my collection. And it looks like I have a whole bunch of them or something. Uh, it's just fun stuff that I like to do. But with this one, the other thing is this one does make it a little bit of a challenge because the hole on the top is very similar, but it looks like the hole's bigger on the second one than on the first one. So a lot of this is really gonna be hard to tell unless you have it in hand. But I still don't know. The hole might be the same size. It just might be the wear and tear on the one that I have. But with that, this thing, I want to say people were asking $180 in the height of this craziness. Now the prices have come back down anywhere between like 50 and 70 is still a lot of money. But I'm also noticing if you buy a complete firecracker, it almost looks like there's no difference in price. If you buy a complete firecracker with the figure, with a short helmet or the long helmet, it almost seems the same. So you might want to go that route. All right, so we're getting in to the... Dusty Hayes with the Backlash, and he also came with Gator, uh, and I think also a separate pack. Now, I do want to point out that I don't think any of the short masks made it into the figure packs. That might be something that I need to look into, because I couldn't find any pictures of figure packs that had short masks. So that might be something that you only could get it if you bought the boxed figures. Now, as you're going to notice, the colors are different. The one on the right goes with Billboard Blast, but I didn't have a Billboard Blast uh, mask and the billboard blast mask is actually the long version although it's gold and so with that i did have an extra figure with no mask and an extra mask and no figure and then that's how i did that so it looks fine anyway no noticing this i remember spending so much time just admiring this mask and looking at this mask and thinking about uh the the, the fact that you can put it on his boat there's like a little spot on a boat to fit his mask but the long mask won't fit in his boat and we'll show that here in just a second you do have holes in the top but let's uh let's just kind of show you this so the short mask kind of sits in the boat just perfect like it belongs there like it's a nice fun little place to put this mask but the long mask although it will sit in there you won't be able to close it without smashing the mask so that's a difference and I, I I think that if you want the sh I think the short mask is superior in every single way the short mask is superior. I also want to point out that it might be user difference uh, varies case to case, but this is soft and squishy and this one's kind of hard. So I don't know if that's the way it is for all of them, but that's the way it is on mine. Okay, so this is Bruce Soto with Rhino. The vehicle Rhino is what he came with, and he has the lifter mask. Now, the thing about this lifter mask is the fact that it looks very similar, very similar, almost exactly the same, and literally, like, they just added that extra bit to it. But if you cut it down, well, obviously, you're going to have a hole in the top. But it looks good. I don't see a price difference between these two either. I, I just think that online they're about the same. I have about the equal number of these. I've had several of the rhinos over the years and I just don't see much of a difference in them. Now this one is available with rhino and with the figure pack, but I think you only get the long mask and figure pack. So I think all the figure packs only have long masks unless somebody can link me to a picture that shows short masks. But since we're gonna stay with rhino, we're gonna get into Matt Tracker with his ultra flash mask. Now the ultra flash mask is another one. This is the most iconic mask by the way, which I don't, I don't like it that much to tell you the truth but it is featured right here right here that's right that's what that is that's the ultra flash mask now short mask versus the long mask again i think the short is wins i think the short wins across the board for me there's none of the long ones i'm like oh yeah i like the long one more but i like having both variations you do have that one slit in the top for the kid can breathe if he chokes on it or whatever. And then you got the front and the back extended. It just It's almost like, ah, it's the quickest, easiest way we can do it. But each one of them have like a different cutout opening to the front and the back to just kind of add some variety to it, I guess you could say. But yeah, there's uh, Matt Tracker with his Ultra Flash. And now we're going to get into the next Matt Tracker. 
Next up is the Matt Tracker that came with the Thunderhawk with his Spectrum mask and also the long version was in the figure packs that you could get. I think they packed them up with with Venom, uh, with Miles Mayhem. But these masks are completely different. As you can see with the rest of them, a lot of them, they look like the exact same mask. They just extended. But this is like a completely redo. And I'm going to try to get as close into this and not uh, mess it up. But as you can see, there's it's like a more eyes going on there than in here. Then you get to the side. You see how he's got his hose. I'm just going to use this here. His hose right here where there's... Uh, no hose there, or if it's a very minuscule amount of hose that's going on. He ain't got much hose on the first one. And then he's got the opening slit in the back, and right here. And I like the first one better, but there's, there is a lot on the second one. They added some detail. They, it's like they said, this is our flagship, and we've got to still make it look good, even though we have to, it can't look as much like the cartoon. We still have to add some stuff to it and make it look good. And this is, of course, the version that we're going to see this version of Matt Tracker, if anything gets rebooted, we see a six inch or a four inch scale or anything like that, we're definitely going to see this. And there it is, Matt Tracker, Spectrum, from Thunderhawk. So now we're going to get into Cliff Dagger with his torch helmet, and he did come with Jackhammer, and then of course the long helmet mask version came with figure packs. And I think he looks good. Um, both of them look decent. This is another one that I kind of feel like they didn't just extend it. They kind of redid it because it looks so much different. And I think he's got cutouts for his, let's get it in there, cutouts for his eyes in the new one, cutouts for his mouth. Uh, it's getting fuzzy when it gets too close. And it's got cutouts on the top and in the front here. So this is just all kinds of holes and stuff in it which is what they had to do. So they com I think they just completely redid this thing. Now, the thing is, is it feels like the long mask sits a little lower on him, but maybe that's just because of the way the long mask is, the way it is constructed. He's got a hole in the back there. But the short mask one is, this is so strange. And it's funny, I actually had almost all short masks and only one long mask when I started putting all this together. And I, I just found that odd. There's really no price difference between the two. Uh, I still like the short mask better, but you can see this right here. The long mask on the right sits on him a little bit better. Anyway, that's Cliff Dagger and his torch. All right, this is Sly Rax with his stiletto mask. Stiletto fire. He comes with his piranha. What are you trying to do? Lengthen my helmet? Sly Rax and his scuzzy voice that he used. Always liked him for some reason. Always kind of felt like he just said what he what was on his mind, and he just told everyone how it was. That was a cool thing about this guy. Anyway, the short mask on him is, in my opinion, completely different than the long mask. They didn't just extend it; they completely changed it. And uh, with that, uh, I'm I, I got some wear on my short mask. I don't have many short mask ones, and I don't have probably don't have one in perfect condition either. So that's one of the things, like some paint wear on mine. There are a lot of similarities between the masks, but you do see that hole in the top, and you got the hole in the extended lengthy piece, and you've got the hole in the front. It's actually not showing up as well on the camera as I would like because of the fact that it is I'm trying to get that lighting just right. But cool, it's a very affordable figure. I don't think anyone charges more for the short mask than the long mask, and it also came in the figure pack with the long mass of Slyrax and his stiletto fire. Lastly, we get to Miles Mayhem and his Viper mask, and these are completely different masks. This is not just an extension. And it actually doesn't seem like it's any bigger. Out of all of them, I don't think this is any bigger. This is just a series of changes. Oddly enough, I had to chase one of these down. I didn't have one of these. I started chasing them down. Then I went to Toy Show and got two more. I was like, what? The, the short masks are pretty common. So it's not like you're going to have to pay out the wazoo to get a short mask. And, ah, uh, focus. Focus, Mike. It's not really short. It's a little bit shorter, the short mask. But the long mask is more of just put some holes in it and make it more breathable if a kid messes it up. So that's kind of the whole situation right there. But you actually have an extra hole, like a square hole right there, and a hole on the top, and no extra hole in the front, but the face visor. Now, it is always assumed, if you look at the animation, that this part is open, but it's a shadowing. 
that makes it black. But then again, maybe not. Maybe that was just my assumption when I watched the show because I don't remember as a kid which version I had. I think I had this version of the mask because I don't think I got that expensive switchblade right when it came out. But he did come with switchblade. He also came in with this mask here in the figure assortment packs later on. This is Miles Mayhem with his Viper mask and it's pretty cool and kind of fun. And I had a lot of fun today talking about the short mask variants of mask and just reminiscing on good old times when it comes to playing with, collecting masks, and of course the wonderful show. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look at the Kenner mask, long mask versus short masks. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this is a helpful tool and guide for everybody going forward if they're interested in collecting this line and they want to get some short masks or long mask variants, depending on what you want. Some people go with the long mask because that's what they had, and some go with the short mask because that is the first original run, depending on how you collect. But let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe, and try to hear them hang around. What are you doing here? The bloke is trying to escape. That's what he thinks. Ah, there's the rhyme. <laughs> At last, the secret of life is mine.